guys so i know i should have at least three the sip videos up by now i missed last week and the week before that but with the holidays and running around with my family i just did not stop and buy wines i was more focused on making sure i had money for gifts so you know i didn't really do i didn't do any wine reviews i'm sorry so i do apologize but to make up for missing two weeks i have two wines in one video um they are the same brand but i'll get that get into that in a second I'm thinking for the last Saturday of the year, I will either do a regular The Sip video or um, do a favorites of 2016 wine video or maybe I'll just do a two-in-one two like I'll have a wine to try out, you know, on New Year's or for that Saturday or whatever, plus tell you what my favorites were and my least favorites. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. <gasps> I think this is crazy. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. It's cracked, y'all. I'm about to cry. I gotta come back. Okay, so yeah. It's like every time I record something happens, but um Yes, I'm coming to y'all again, busted and disgusted with another wine review for the second time this month. Like, I have not been feeling like my makeup, so yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to take back the whole busted and disgusted thing. I look like this pretty much every day. Usually, I do feel in my eyebrows, but I was rushing to work this morning so bad. Like, my alarm didn't sound off, so yeah. Anyway got these from Aldi's for about $4.99 a piece the first one is Moselle Sweet Red California it's kind of frosty I'll have to give you a close up and then the other one is Red Moscato still by Moselle I don't remember which one I had before I'm thinking it's the Sweet Red I mean I completely forgot to take them out before I left so yeah these are very frozen oh, oh, shit. <laughs> first one is Moselle Sweet Red California a refreshing sweet wine with mouth watering flavors of black cherry and raspberry this might be the one I didn't try because y'all know I don't like I don't really care for raspberry Inspiration for our wines comes from the fun loving spirit in all of us. Moselle is a delightful wine for everyday occasions. Our sweet red showcases a refreshing sweetness with mouth watering flavors of black cherry and raspberry. Relax with friends and enjoy Moselle with your favorite grilled meats, spicy cuisine, or desserts served chilled. And then, like always, certain general stuff pregnant women should not be drinking. Some of y'all be forgetting it. This is super dark. Super dark. Very good, very good. Good. Mmm. That's good. It's a lot of flavor at once. But it's really good. I don't remember which one I had. I'm trying that red Moscato. Like, I don't think that there's no glass in there. I'm sorry if I'm smacking. It's packed with a lot of flavor. And the fact that it's so cold just adds to it like look how frosty like it is frozen it's almost like an icy which is cool because i haven't worn the icy today but quick trip ain't never got they icy flavors frozen i wish y'all work on that but anyway it's packed with a lot of flavor like that's really good 
I can taste like the raspberry fruit flavor or whatever. Like I said, I really don't care for raspberry, but I mean, it's whatever. It's not horrible. Not horrible, overbearing. Like the raspberry isn't strong. I really like this one. So, 5 out of 5 for the Moselle Sweet Red. I'll give it a 4. I will give that one a 4. So, let's move on to the Red Moscato. Okay, Red Moscato. Inspiration for our wines come from the fun. Yeah. Inspiration for our wines comes from the fun, loving spirit in all of us. Moselle is a delightful wine for everyday occasions. I read Moscato showcases a refreshing sweetness with mouth-watering flavors of juicy peach and cherries. Relax with friends and enjoy Moselle with mild cheeses, fresh seasonal fruit, or favorite desserts. Serve chilled. Pregnant women shouldn't be drinking. I brought a towel and everything. I might have to throw this away. Okay. Maybe I should rinse this off. I feel like it's going to start pouring out. Ooh. Like the other one is scared a mess out of me. Yep, there it is. This one is way, way lighter. Then the other one, I'm looking for any glass particles. Okay. It's different than any sweet red I've had. Like, when I think of sweet red, I don't think of peach, and it smells peachy. But it's, I don't know how to describe this one. It's really sweet, but mild. Like, it's not as packed with flavor as the sweet red. This sweet red, what is this one? Red Moscato. Sweet red Moscato. Like, it's super smooth. That's that's what that's what I'm thinking of. It's smooth. I actually think I like this red Moscato better than the sweet red. And I think I had this sweet red. That's the one I was drinking years ago. And I think I I think I like the red Moscato more. I like this one here. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say this now. After the Illinois Sellers, is it the Illinois Sellers? Um, Illinois Sellers Sweet Rose wine. That's like my all time favorite for the year 2016. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one as number second, number second, number two four favorite sweet reds unless I come upon something else come upon does that make sense but but yes that red Moscato is hidden five out of five for that one because that is so smooth that's almost too smooth real smooth alcohol liquor whatever you want to call it wine or have you like how did I get drunk off of that that fast that's really good. Really, really good. That is smooth. That's really good. Like, I would take a crazy straw to that bottle and just go to town with that. That's really good. 
I like that. I really like that. I like that. And then it's all extra icy because I accidentally left it in the freezer. Obviously, you can tell which one I'm feeling the most. That is smooth. That's really good. So between these two, I'm going to have to go ahead and give it to the Red Moscato. That one's popping. I like that one a lot. Might have to throw this bottle away because it is cracked, but that's really good. The Red Moscato is 9% um, alcohol by volume and the Sweet Red is 10.5% alcohol by volume. That's why it's so strong. This one has been like... The fruit they use for this one has been fermenting in its own juices. This one, not so much. That's probably pretty good. Pretty good price. $5 and very tasty. So I'll see you guys next weekend.